Hi, my name is Mikey Zena. I've been making handmade cast nets for over 65 years. So today what I want to talk to you about and show you basically is what it takes to make a real handmade cast net. And that starts with a ball of twine, a knitting needle or shuttle, your preference on calling, and a mesh board. This is what it takes to make a handmade cast net. This is not a net that's cut out of flat panels and sewn together. This is a true handmade net. Normally, what I make my nets out of is bonded nylon. Now it's not twist, it's twisted, but it's bonded. It stays tight, not stay good on it. And it, it, this is a good tough line too, as well. Uh, now, uh, the components for making a handmade cast net are this. The twine, the mesh board that the mesh size is, the size of this board determines the size mesh that's going to be in that net. The smaller you make it, then you make it for shrimp. You may use 3 8 half inch. Mullet net, that's a one inch. That's what I use on my mullet nets uh, to determine the size. That's a one inch mesh on that uh, Decron net. And that is a, I make all of my own tools. That is a handmade, I call them knitting needles. Most everybody t today call it a shuttle. A shuttle is anything, a spoon is a shuttle. But anything that uh, transfers something from one place to another is a shuttle. So, but these are the tools that you use to make a true handmade net. By that, a handmade net is one, a handmade net is a continuous circle. You go round and round and round. When you run out of cord off that needle, you simply refill it, tie in, and continue round and round and round. There are no seams. So that's what we call a handmade net. Some of the major components of, a, of any cast net has to be the swivel and the horn. Uh, most of your store-bought nets, they use a plastic, uh, a plastic swivel and a plastic, and perhaps maybe a brass swivel. Uh, this is a, a genuine, real cow horn. As you can see, uh, I'll, I buy my cow horns and I, I cut it. As you can see, it's been cut off to the part that actually is used for the horn itself. Then another part of the horn is used for the, the swivel. The swivel is what your hand line is attached to and your braille lines are attached to that go down through. Uh, and this is uh, Dacron. This is Dacron. This, actually, this is a braided fishing line. Top quality fishing line that makes a beautiful net. The knot stays really nice and tied all the time in this. They don't have to worry about them coming loose. Uh, it makes really, really a nice net. I normally make my nets out of bonded nylon. See, this is a small net. It's six and a half foot. I basically made this for me, but I don't know. <laughs> As you can see, this net uh, has, just like any, it's just an English net. Not a bag net. This is an English net I use. In this particular net, I've used it braided uh, nylon braille lines. Braille lines go from the swivel down to the lead line. And right now, after I've installed my horn, uh, next will come. I have to put the sinkers on it. These are lead sinkers. The uh, sinkers of today, they're made out of a lot of them uh, the, the, uh, plastic. Uh, actually, it's, it's steel with a plastic coating over it with time. If they get a cut in them, they're going to rust. Uh, there's a big fuss about lead. The issue with lead is it's harmless unless you eat it. And I don't know who's going to be chewing on the lead. But, but uh, normally speaking, I make all my own tools. I make my sinker molds that, that form these sinkers. And uh, they're sewed on, as you can see, very, very tight. This is a real good tight. These sinkers will not slide up and down on that foot line. They're firmly in place, as you can see that. Uh, very, very uh, well constructed. The tucks, the braille lines, I call them tucks, are secured. Uh, they're bonded. I actually bond these to that foot line. They'll never come loose. And uh, so actually you're looking at quality. Quality in a handmade net. Uh, and... Uh, it will perform very, very well for you. Well, that concludes this video. I hope that you got something out of it. Uh, if you have any questions or any comments or that you'd like to make, you can contact me at 
our website, which is menorcanmagic.com, or my email address would be menorcanmagic at gmail.com, and I'd be happy to uh, answer any questions for you, give you prices on handmade nets, uh, and uh, give you any answer any questions that you might have. Thank you much for watching.